Now, I don't know where the people of Portland are. Um, how can you stand for this in your own town? Now, I hear this, but then I see the Portland newspaper reporting that this is just all coming from right-wing extremists. Uh, Portland, the city, it's a, pl- it's a paradise. Nothing's, there's no violence, there's nothing going on. It's beautiful this time of year. Well, is that true at all? Is it? Um, we have a, a reporter now. Uh, who he's a journalist. He's been on the ground reporting from Portland for a while. His name is uh, Kalen uh, D'Aldemia. D'Ald... Kalen, can you say your name for me? Dalmeda. Kalen Dalmeda. Del... Kalen Dalmeda. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm about to you know, be inducted into the Hall of Fame of Broadcasting. I don't know how I got this job. Uh, Kalen, <laughs> tell me uh, tell me exactly uh, what you've been doing. You've been up in uh, uh, Portland for the last two weekends, but you've also been up in Seattle, where I think you were assaulted in Seattle, were you not? I was. I was. They didn't They didn't like me recording, um, and so one of their, uh, I don't know who he was, just a, a, a random goon who was there decided he was going to attack me for recording, take my phone, Give me an ultimatum. Give me the phone or I'm going to knock you out. That's what happened in Seattle. Did you give him the phone? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, It it, it could have been much worse. I was able to get out of there. Um, But they did try to take me back in for interrogation. At least that's what happened in Seattle. Um, In Portland, I go undercover in full black block. And so... They don't know who's who. So their black block kind of, it works both ways. It works for me and it works for them uh, as far as not being identified. But they do actively try to suppress people that are recording uh, the violent acts and the criminal acts that they're that they're doing there. And so most of what they're approved press, they have approved uh, people that they they like to have stream and, and post videos. Usually it's just of people uh, chanting or, or, or eating or, or doing random things. And then they'll mm-hmm. also post out of context police response to something that they're not reporting on. So they definitely are trying to create a narrative that, you know, we're, we're not doing anything. We're just out here. We're moms or, you know, we're peacefully protesting, which may be true. There may be 80% of people who are peacefully protesting, and then the 20% um, are committing the violent acts that DHS and Portland uh, Police Department have to respond to. Uh, So for the most part, I'm out there undercover recording the things that uh, they don't want people to see. And so, so CNN is saying this is just right-wing media playing up the Portland violence. I heard that from the Portland press as well. Then I went to Portland TV and I saw something very, very different. What the hell is happening with the people of Portland? What are they thinking? Are they for this? Or is anybody getting sick of this? I think that there are both. I've, I've talked to regular people as well. Like uh, a lot of my Uber drivers, I'll ask them kind of what what do they think because they're not part of this. They're not down protesting, and a lot of them don't agree with the violence. They don't agree with the rioting and looting that happened several weeks ago. But a lot of people sort of formulate their opinions not based on their own investigations through. You know, independent journalism, like me and so many others are doing, but based on the media narratives that CNN or some of their local newspapers are putting out there. And um, a lot of people just feel that, well, Portland's had this long history of protesting and, you know, government government agencies are, are, are just snatching people off the streets and it's completely uncalled for and DHS is just Do they believe that? everything. I, I, Do they believe, I don't they believe actually that. believe that the average person? Yes, yes. A lot of a lot of people are buying Jeez. into this idea that uh, federal law enforcement, which, by the way, Ted Wheeler, the mayor of of Portland, asked for publicly to come in 
and help restore law and order publicly on Twitter. So he he's, you know, a weak leader, but he also asked for them to be there. But what's happening as far as while I was there specifically, uh, their problem is not they're not protesting. Maybe 10 percent of the time they're protesting for black lives. The other 90 percent of the time they're, you know, directly assaulting and attacking uh, the federal building and police officers. Uh, they want to abolish it, and they're also protesting and trying to tear down the system and implement socialism. You hear hear that uh, from people all the time on uh, their bullhorns and their megaphones. And so I don't know fully, you know, how many people in the city are for these ideas that that uh, they're trying to push here, uh, but it, it, it's not what we're being told by mainstream media. They're, they're, they're really masking it and hiding it. So um, we're talking to uh, Kalen Dalmeda, and he is a journalist that has been up in uh, Portland. He's uh, back safe at home now. Um, uh, you said that they want social, you mean the, the Swedish socialist kind of system, or is it something different that they're advocating for? I don't think that they fully know what they're advocating for. I think that they have an agenda to tear down the system, to bring the revolution. Um, but what is their their plan afterwards? They've torn down the system and they've abolished all law enforcement. Um, I don't think they even know. And if they do, they're not saying it publicly. They're not saying, you know, what it is mm-hmm. fully they, they want aside from removing these things what are they for what are they trying to implement after they achieve their their goal they're not saying um and mainstream media is not reporting on that either so um all right so the um the the feds come in the the idea behind the feds is they've got to protect federal property um, they should have, I think they should have been there long ago. If they had a decent mayor, he would have asked for it long ago. Um, but uh, you know, they're under attack. Of course, they're not going to be in, you know, FBI marked cars. They will be marked. Um, and so will the agents. Are, are they, are they kidnapping people or are they going in, taking the ringleaders, uh, arresting them? Is it, is this, is this which is it closer to kidnapping or actually doing law enforcement? I think it's uh, definitely law enforcement. Um, if they have yeah. any investigations that are happening uh, that aren't publicized, um, you know that that I can't comment on. I don't I don't know right you know about that. But to say that um, you know there's that viral clip going around of, of two DHS. Uh, agents, you know, taking somebody into a van that, you know, that happened, but who was the person that they were taking in? Did they, did they know who he is? Um, did he do, what did he do for them to, to do that? Because uh, right. they're not, they're not doing that. They're not just taking people in off the streets daily. And a lot of these people are reporting like, Oh, I had to hide from the unmarked van because they're snatching people. It's not nearly uh, that way. It's not nearly that way. There may have been one incident, uh, that was caught on film, but you know, these people don't know what's going on. The, the president said yesterday that he felt that the governor and the mayor were actually afraid. And he said, I believe they may actually fear for their physical safety, um, uh, uh, from these people. And, uh, it's out of control. Do you believe that the the mayor believes in this crap, is part of it, or is afraid of it? Or is it a combination of both? I think he's probably afraid. Uh, they the, the protesters don't like him. Antifa, uh, all of these people, they don't like him at all. They show up at his house regularly. And I think that he is very weak and he doesn't really know what he's doing because he'll ask for them to come in and then he'll condemn them. And then he'll prevent Portland police bureau from working with DHS jointly 
to solve this issue. Um, so there, there's a lot of factors at play, but Ted Wheeler is, is it a, just sounds a like very, he sucks. He does suck. <laughs> he sucks. Yeah. I mean, it just, I mean, that just sounds like a mayor who just absolutely sucks. Um, he's being, uh, challenged for his seat, uh, by a member of, of black lives matter. I think, is that right? I actually don't know about that. I haven't, I haven't, uh, heard about that. Okay. How much of this is about George Floyd. Was it ever about George Floyd in Portland? I think it may have been. I think that there are a lot of people, majority of people who don't really know what's going on, but they want to go out and protest. And I think that a lot of them believe that this is still, you know, we're coming up on 60 nights of this consecutively. And they think that that is still what it is about. But, uh, of the, of all the time I've spent there, there's only ever been one, time where a black a female black lives matter organizer with a bullhorn got all of the protesters to focus on uh you know police brutality and the murdering of of black people in fact they they gathered one night in particular over a hoax um there was a a black male named dominic or dominique dune who was murdered uh, a couple fridays ago and they said that it was by a white supremacist. And later we found out that it was actually another black man that killed uh, this person. So they're out there protesting mm-hmm. that white supremacists are killing black people, uh, you know, and police are killing black people. Uh, and it, it's just not true. Uh, so have you, the, the, rest, have, the, the, the rest of the time, it's all about all cops are bastards. It's all about abolishing the police completely. Uh, they tell them to jump off the tops of these uh, federal building roofs and, and, and quit their jobs. So that's Jeez. primarily what it is.